No, you don't do I that. I don't touch my phone. No, you do not. Talk, you do not. Who are you not, touching? You do not record somebody that is being dealt with by the police. On your way. All right then, so as you've just seen in this video, this constable comes up and says the most stupidest thing I've ever seen. This is within the first 30 seconds of the interaction. This constable comes up, commits a common assault, right? And then says, what does she say? You can't record somebody being dealt with by the police. It's not allowed. While committing a common assault. Committing common assault is not allowed. But he still did it. Not only that, I don't think you'd really notice that she's got no epilepsy on. She's got no numbers on display. She's wearing her sunglasses. Very unprofessional pig here. But we will just get straight into this video and then break it down. So let's go. You know what happened here? Yeah, yeah, great. I'll have a bit late round here. No, you don't do I that. I don't touch my phone. No, you do not. You do not. Who are you touching? You do not record somebody that is being dealt with by the police. You On your way. Care? It's unfair. Unfair to who? Well, come a big uh, hit on YouTube. Thanks a lot. So there we go. We're back on the CPS again. We're going to be looking at common assault because that's what I believe this is. And if anything, that's what it would be registered as. So I'm not going to go through it all. Let's just go to the important bit here. Is the important bit. So just let it read it out loud. An element of the offence of common assault is lack of consent so that the prosecution may, where it is a live issue, have to establish that the offence was committed without consent. However, a lack of consent can be inferred from evidence other than the direct evidence of the victim, CPS v. Shabby, 2009, EWHC 2754, admin. Most of the physical contacts of ordinary life are not actionable because they are impliedly consented to by all who move in society and so expose themselves to the risk of bodily contact, Collins v. Wilcock, 1984, 1 WLR 1172. So as you've seen, the element of uh, common assault is lack of consent. Lack of consent, that's exactly what this was. And it's not the everyday, ordinary life contacts of what you see in everyday normal life. People do, well, you do actually see that a hell of a lot now, but it's not normal for somebody to go around grabbing people's cameras. It's, it's plain and simple common assault, even if she touches your finger when doing that. That is unwanted contact, and it is common assault, in my eyes. But what what is the punishment for common assault? Here we go. Punishment for common assault. Common assault and battery shall be a summary offence, and a person guilty of either of them shall be liable for a fine not exceeding level 5 on the standard scale, to imprisonment for no term not exceeding 6 months or both. So you've seen that this police officer committed common assault. She should be fined at the absolute minimum. You see that? She assaulted me. She assaulted me. Yeah, but yeah. So, so that's an excuse to assault people, is it? She assaulted me. Well, she assaulted me. Yeah, right. So that's right to assault someone. What's your number? No number. Yeah, give her through this clarity. None of you seem to have numbers on for some reason. Um, so, uh, her number is 887. Yep. Mine is 171. Oh, thank you. You've got 0005 yep. and 0869. Okay, from uh, Peterborough Police Station. Yeah, from Thoughtwood. Yeah, I know where that is. Okay. So, not only did they do nothing about the, their fellow constable assaulting auditing you next 
Not one of well, only one of them is wearing epaulets with numbers on. So he's identified them all. But then you got this one without numbers trying to justify her actions, saying every well every reaction you get a reaction for everything you do. Well, you're the police. You should know not to go around attacking people. That's not a, a reasonable reaction for somebody filming. So, as you said, Constable, I hope auditing you next reports her and sends in the footage, and then also sues her as well. Because, like you said, there is, there is consequences for your actions. So, this is a consequence for her actions. So, hopefully, he does sue her. Thank you. If you feel like you want to make a complaint, you can contact 101 and do it over the phone. Um, but my, I think my colleague was just trying to give the gentleman we're with a little bit of privacy. Yeah, but there's no need um, to touch me. I, I won't comment on that. However, she, we're just trying to give this gentleman a bit of privacy. He has human rights as well. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's under arrest. He doesn't need a phone in his face being posted all over YouTube, does he? Oh, uh, hopefully not. But obviously, you're recording this for a purpose. Yeah, yeah. So I imagine that's probably what you're going to do with it? Oh well, yeah, definitely not. Alright. So as you've seen, this one is now trying to justify this absolute twat's actions. The, the air actions is unjustifiable. There was no reason to go around grabbing anybody because they are recording. That is not a justifiable action because this person wants privacy. Remember what they said, this person wants privacy. So if that's the case, why did they arrest him in the middle of the town centre, have him stood outside in handcuffs for a bit before putting him in the car? If they wanted to protect his privacy, then why would they do it right there? Why not put him straight in the car and move him? Not only that, what you're going to see in a minute is something else which actually contradicts everything he has just said to put for this guy's uh, privacy. It's okay when you're making your shows and you put people on, on there, isn't it, with, with the face and everything on display once you arrest them on like, catching Britain speeders, interceptors and all this other stuff. It's okay for you to do it, but it's not okay for general members of the public to do it the difference is the general members of the public are putting it on youtube which is not as easy to get views on as national tv It's that weirdo that trust me for. So I've got sunglasses on. Must be his friend. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think it's all over, guys. What's going on? Don't know, mate. Just know it's been arrested. Oh. Is this live on Twitch? Sorry? Is this live on Twitch? No, no, no. It's going on YouTube, though. Oh. She just assaulted me. Do you know we got the She assaulted me? Yeah, yeah. I tried to grab my phone. Well, she grabbed my phone. Uh, do you know what she did? Do you know what we got the phone? Don't know what she's been arrested for. Yeah, what did you do? What are they arresting for? I don't know, mate. I just come around the corner and I saw them put, put them in the car. So I started filming it and I didn't like it. Is he or she your mate? He. Oh, is he your mate? No, 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 not my mate. Well, I think he... No, mate, no problem. Let's get out of here. Dale. Look, look, when you see him and then they walk out in public in front of everyone. So nothing really happens after this. Apart from that, that person likes to get into in, likes to get involved. As you can see, that constable, which was trying to justify her actions by saying, uh, "Your actions have consequences." That constable shouldn't be a constable if he's got that mentality. She shouldn't be a constable with that mentality. And the also the one was trying to justify her actions which actually give them all the numbers and the station. I don't think he was too bad, apart from the fact that he tried to justify your actions by saying she was creating privacy. What did I say earlier in the video? That is going to be important because what have they just done now? They've walked him across the town to a police van on display for everybody. Now, they could have put the police van closer and moved him more discreetly, but they didn't. So... Their argument of creating privacy goes out the window, in my opinion, when they have now just displayed him going in, getting into the police van, searched and into the police van. So their argument to me goes out the window from that, that alone. At least you're not cupping them up. And this guy needs an air cut. How many please for one man? <laughs> These guys are jokers. get out of here and just to drive off. All right then, so as you've seen in this interaction there, I think this uh, female constable is very unprofessional and shouldn't be on the streets. Especially considering she thinks you don't have the right to film somebody who is being dealt with by the police. That is her own words, not mine. Come out of her mouth, not mine. Well, it just did come out of mine, but repeating what she had said. The other constables which was trying to justify her actions as well, shame on you. I really do wonder if when they filled out their reports, they also put in the report that there was a person filming and she run over and committed a common assault. I very much doubt it or I doubt she, they reported her to their seniors for her behaviour. Which... They should have done, in my opinion, every single officer which doesn't do something like that is a bad officer. This was uncalled for. Her behaviour was uncalled for. There was no reasonable excuse for that behaviour at all. 
So in my opinion, she should be reported for that and disciplined for that behavior. She should be put on desk duty where she cannot go out and attack members of the public for filming. Most of, well, all of this is just my opinion. Let us know in the comments down below what you thought of this interaction. As always, like the video, it does help in YouTube's algorithm, and I'll catch you on the next one.